sunny days Everybody loves them Tell me baby can you stand the rain Storms will come Come on, baby. Let's go get wet. <laughs> I can't do it with a straight face. Hey, what's going on? In this episode, we are going to be looking at the harmonies in the course of the song Can You Stand the Rain by New Edition. Something that I want to point out is that the uh, furnace conveniently went on as I clicked record. So I hope you guys don't mind the sound of uh, the heat. Um, personally, I actually kind of find it soothing, that constant humming noise, um, but I don't know how attractive it is as far as it being in, uh, in the background of my YouTube video, but uh, anyways, I hope it's okay. So this song's a classic for sure. Um, I would consider this song one of the gateways of that whole R&B vocal group movement that kind of um, started in the late 80s and really popularized in the... Um, the early 90s, early mid 90s. But yeah, something that I like about this song is that um, me personally, I'm doing what I do as far as um, the kind of YouTube uh, content that I make. Um, I find this song interesting because I like the certain initiatives in this song. Personally, first and foremost, I have found that the dead beginning note of the course of the song is a perfect five part harmony. Now, um, some of you might be familiar with some of my brother and I's lingo um, in our videos. We just kind of invent words to describe certain scenarios. But when I say perfect perfect five part, perfect four part, whatever, um, what that means is each individual part is doing something unique from each other. And we don't always get that in harmony arrangements. Quite often we have harmonies mimicking each other. Usually we have a guaranteed three part at least. That's usually a given. Um, but... Uh, you know, when you add anything more than a three part, we often just get mimicking harmonies, but in different, um, different octaves and, and, and stuff like that. So, but, um, there's perfect, there's perfect four parts, um, in this song in, in different parts of the chorus, but the dead beginning note is a perfect five part. And I'm going to be going into the demonstration so you guys will see that, but I just wanted to point that out first and foremost. So, of course, we're going to start you off with the melody as always. I'm going to be showing you, um, the underlay melody. Um, instead of like the lead melody because um, the underlay melody pretty much it's it's there for the structure of the song um, you know for example um, the lead for example goes sunny days everybody loves them right but then the underlay melody actually goes with the ooze like the ooh like in the in the background right enough chit chat let's get into this this is the melody and it goes like this check it out Sunny days, ooh, can you stand the rain? Storms will come, ooh, can you stand the rain? Alright, so in my videos, typically I move up. So I'm going to be showing you a high harmony, and it goes like this. Sunny days, ooh, can you stand the rain? Storms will come, ooh, can you stand the rain? Alright, something to explain real fast, um, you may have noticed, oh, it stopped. Um, you may have noticed that, um, um, there are parts where it, it bleeds into the melody, um, like a really specific part, and there's also a part where it starts off, for example, um, below the melody, um, as far as, um, octaves and whatever, right? Um, but this is just for, like, the sake of, um, of, um, just creating an interesting sound, um, you know, what happens a lot, I feel, is that people get sold with um, the kind of melody that they want, and they thought it was really catchy to have you go, sunny days, right? So, 
um, just for the sake of the harmonies, instead of like trying to do a lot of gymnastics to make it all completely a high harmony, um, just wouldn't be worth it, I think. And so they just kind of made it make up for it to make it start off like technically below, but for the most part, it's a high harmony. So that's why I'm calling it a high harmony. But this actually happens every now and then in, in vocal arrangements. So, all right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to be playing you the harmony you just heard with the melody so we can understand how they should harmonize together. Check it out. Sunny days, ooh, can you stand the rain? Storms will come, ooh, can you stand the rain? So this harmony we are going to be exploring now is just below the melody, and um, this one goes like this. Sunny days, ooh, can you stand the rain? Storms will come, who can you stand the rain? Sunny days, ooh, can you stand the rain? Storms will come, ooh, can you stand the rain? Alright, so now that we're back, I want to explain something real fast. Um... This is where things can get tricky for um, the kind of videos that I do because um, I found a note and I was trying to decipher, trying to decide where this note ends up because I, I heard a note and I kept doing my research. I kept listening and listening and listening and I've decided that it was there. Um, but then it kind of goes missing and I don't know where the rest of it goes. Um, so usually when that happens, I have to assume. And... Um, my assumption, I, I feel pretty strongly about this assumption, but I'm just bringing this up just to, you know, give light to situations like this. But, um, um, when you don't know where it goes, the possibility of it just merging within another harmony is very likely. And, you know, in this case, I found that the backing vocals is multi-tracked. I think it really adds to why the background vocals sound so big and, like, ambiance misty sounding, which... I actually really love that sound. Um, hopefully you guys understand what I mean as far as my description. It just kind of has that aesthetic that I like, this big sounding um, ambiance kind of sound. Um, so I feel it's multi-layered, um, which I think kind of makes it a little bit more complicated. Um, but um, I personally have found that there is a variant to this harmony that has a different beginning, and it starts like this, and I'm going to show you that now. Sunny days, ooh, can you stand the rain? Storms will come, ooh, can you stand the rain? I actually like the initiative. Um, because this actually creates a separate harmony. Now we're adding them up. Right now we're at four harmonies in that dead beginning, so now we have a perfect four part, because all of what we have so far in that dead beginning note um, are all unique to each other. So, okay, so we got the last harmony here. This is the lowest harmony. Um, the beginning is kind of interesting because, again, you can kind of tell the initiative that they took with the kind of note that they started with, but I think it sounds really cool. And I think it sounds really good. You can't always get a perfect five-part harmony in just any song, and you can just trust that it will sound good. Sometimes it just sounds too dissonant, and it kind of ruins the vibe of the song, but this very much fits very well. And of course, as a reminder, um, there are perfect four parts in this song too, so um, that's a little cool nugget for, for kind of what I do. Um, but anyways, just keep that in mind. Um, listen out for them. Um... But anyway, uh, this is how this harmony goes. It goes like this. Sunny days, ooh, can you 
stand the rain. Storms will come. Ooh, can you stand the rain? All right. So just like last time. I'm going to be playing you uh, this harmony here with the melody so we can understand how they should harmonize together. Sunny days, ooh, can you stand the rain? Storms will come, ooh, can you stand the rain? So, that's pretty much it. If you got all that down, you can replicate how uh, New Edition performed Can You Stand the Rain, as far as uh, the harmonies in uh, the chorus of the song. Um, personally, again, just, just going back to what I was describing, um, there are certain songs, the way that they're mixed, where the background vocals kind of has this like ambiance-y kind, of, uh, kind of noise. Um, hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but this, this song is, is definitely... Um, definitely that case. So I really enjoy the, the background vocals. I think the harmonies sound pretty cool. I kind of like what they did there um, as far as the arrangement. Um, I think they took initiative and made it pretty interesting. And of course, this is a classic R&B song. Um, but anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. It means a lot. Um, I'm really trying to work harder on this channel, trying to be more consistent. Hopefully I can make myself something on this channel. Um, I really believe in, in this channel, but you know, thank you guys for watching because you guys are a part of the story of the uphill climb for this channel. Um, so thanks for liking, thanks for giving me a sub, and thanks for commenting and all that. Um, tune in next time where I'm going to be doing a different song, whichever song that may be. And uh, yeah, sing in harmony, live in harmony. Uh, Till next time.